Hello. Hello. Okay, so it's been a long time, but oh, at yeah. last we <laughs> are back to the beach of treasures. Yeah, the beach of dreams. We're so excited to be here. Um, it's been it's been well over a year since yeah. we were here last. Um, and if you remember, we found lots of metal. Oh yeah, loads um, of metal treasures. Nugget, metal nuggets like bronze and um, all sorts of yeah. really old pieces of metal. Yeah, that really loads of coins. We found loads coins. of coins. Gold. So we're so excited. Um, <laughs> you never know what we might find. Nothing. We might find something. So fingers crossed, we do. Okay, so we're finally back and we have just started digging for the first time down here in this kind of trough where this iron slag is. We've dug out some bits of lead and we've got bits of random bits of iron and stuff and I think this is off a hinge but look down here, can you see it? That tiny little fragment there, gold! Oh my it's goodness! Gold. It's a tiny little piece of gold that looks like it's etched or engraved or something. How cool is that tiny little fragment of gold? You can tell it's gold because it feels very weighty for its size. How amazing is that? I wonder if it's part of some kind of jewellery. Mum's just found a beautiful brass nail. <laughs> I think it's a screw. Actually. Oh, a screw. We've got a few bits of brass, which are just perfect. We always collect little bits of brass. And interesting bits of iron. So, we're going to get digging. Oh, look, Mum's found a coin. Let's have a look. What kind of coin is it? Is it a modern one or is it an old one? I think it's an old one. Yeah, it's old. It's old. Let me have a look. Old. Let's have a look. It's old, hate me. Oh yes, it is, it's an old half penny. I think that might be George V on there. It's very hard to say. I think I can see Britannia on there. Oh cool. I've been having a bit of a scratch around here and a good telltale sign for where to look for um, metal objects is the iron because it's usually the lightest of the, the metal and it's further on the surface. If you dig further down, you're probably going to find things like lead, which you've got bits of here. So the lead and the heavier things sink down deeper and also gold. And somewhere in there, bronze as well. Look, another bit of lead. Interesting bits of iron. Massive old iron nails and spikes and things. Which I like, but I mean, you can't keep all of this stuff. But I might keep some of it. So, I'm going to get digging and see what else I can find. Okay, so here are some of the bits and pieces we've got so far. We've got a few of these brass nuggets some kind of copper alloy nuggets i think this is a spark plug and we've got loads of iron pieces here i've got some pieces here and mum's got some pieces in her bag here this is a keep pile some interesting bits of brass and bronze isn't there yeah some sort of lever there yeah um, all sorts we're gonna have to take a better look at what we our finds when we get back home I've just found this and I don't know what on earth it is. That's weird, isn't it? I'll 
zoom in. What is that? I don't know what it is, but I like it. It's a nugget of um, some sort of copper alloy and a little bead. Oh, look. I found a piece of hematite. A little tiny bead. I'm not sure what it's made of. Is it some sort of metal? It feels quite heavy. interesting. Look. And Alex has found, it looks like a piece of hematite. I think they used to mine it around here. It's so beautiful, the surface texture of it. See? Isn't it interesting? Oh, it's almost it's like... lovely, isn't it? It's, 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 it's almost like metal. It's like metallic rock. So we're saying we've got a huge pile of lead here, massive lead pile. This is actually, you can see it's almost the shape of the bowl of a spoon. That means it probably was actually melted in the bowl of a spoon. That's what they used to do back in the day. I'm not sure why, I can't remember. It might have been something to do with making bullets or fishing weights, but that's cool. And on the theme of lead, I've also found this bag seal. And I, I can't tell how old it is because I can't see any identifiable markings on it. But that is so interesting. Nothing I can see on there, unfortunately. And then, moving on over here, I've got some really interesting bits of brass. Boat nails and bits of... Oh! Probably things you'll never be able to identify, but things we can make things out of, so we always collect up these bits of brass. It's so exciting! Okay, so I've got loads of treasures here. This is my hand of brass and bronze goodies. Look! Treasures and we've got nugs! And for those of you who don't know what a nug is, it's just simply short for nugget. <laughs> but look, there's loads of good good stuff right there. I'm going to have to put that handful down. Look at all of that. Because I found this and I think that is a musket ball, a fired musket ball. You can tell because it is a bit squashed. Like it's hit something or ricocheted off something if so it was fired from a gun. And then down here look another one. So Alex has just found two some musket balls. Musket balls. How cool is that? Wow. I wonder what gun would have fired these. Yeah. Obviously flint some lock. kind of musket. Yeah. Flintlock or something like that. Yeah. How cool is that? Pirates. Pirates. <laughs> Could be. There were pirates up and down this coast. Yeah, there were. We might tell you a story or two. This one does not look like it's fired like it's its sister over here. That is so cool. Whitehaven, March the 7th, 1785. A very singular circumstance happened last week near Whitehaven. The officers of the customs stationed at Ravenglass and in Millham, Messrs Avery, Cleesby, Shepherd, Robinson and Herbert, made a seizure of 12 anchors of spirit and eight chests of fine black teas, which had been landed near Stubbs Place from a smuggling cutter, which lay then in sight, together with their horses and three carts, which were conveying the goods under the care of four persons, who were disguised and had their faces blackened. The officers conducted the goods to Ravensglass, 
and making a second running the same day, they seized seven chests more of the same kind of tea, which they also lodged safe at Ravensglass. But, in escorting the whole seizure to His Majesty's warehouse in Whitehaven the next day, they were attacked on the road near Drig Carlton by 22 persons, several of them mounted on horseback, all of them armed, their faces blackened, and most of them disguised as women who reclaimed the goods. On the news reaching Whitehaven, the collector immediately dispatched the military quartered there and several officers of the customs in pursuit of the smugglers. But after a most diligent search and using every possible means for making a discovery, they returned without being able to effect anything. The articles seized were to the amount of £450. So could these be fired from a pirate's gun or those trying to protect their ship? All right, so um, is this a coin? <laughs> no, can't be. Massive silver coin. It's got nothing on it unless it's worn off. Just be a metal disc. But it's non ferrous metal. I don't know, what is that? It's not too heavy, but it doesn't. Is it pirate's treasure? Could be pirate's treasure, yeah, Alex yeah. says. Ooh. I don't know. I found another oh. coin. It sounds like Alex has found something too. No, Look. I see him looking at your coin. Look. Oh, she's looking at my coin. Look. Oh. Do you know what I think it is? A modern 20p. Oh, it is. It's 20p. <laughs> it's ah. modern. It's a funny thing here. Um, such a mixture oh, of wait, old I found and a modern. Coin. I oh. found a coin. Wait, Alex just found a coin. Look, I just pulled it up there. Oh, yeah, look. What is it? I don't know, it's really small. It's really, a really farthing. Weird. It looks like a farthing. Or like a half penny? No. I, I can't that... see anything on that. It's very I think that's eroded. A, that's an old farthing. Oh wow! Oh my goodness, and I've got copper boat nails. I love them as well. Oh yeah. Copper alloy nails. Fantastic. <laughs> I just found another piece of um, old brass. It's, it's gone this lovely green patina. And I just love them. Another piece of bronze. Some sort of rivet. Rivet, rivet. Alex riveting. Rivet. Rivet. So many exciting finds down here. This is so cool. I've got a handful of really cool finds here. This has just been a great evening. But this, we've got a lead button. And you might think a lead button sounds a bit weird. But the reason they made lead buttons was to use them as dress weights to weigh down the hem of a dress. So this would have been sewn into the bottom of a lady's dress. How cool. And then we've got a bag seal, a bag or bale seal, which is another cool little lead item. We've got two huge brass bronze copper alloy nugs and another musket ball. So the 
That is the latest musket ball find, and it's the biggest one so far. How cool! Oh, can you see that down there? Just come up! It looks like another little coin, so let's have a look at what it is. If we can see what it is, we might not be able to see it. Oh, it's very tiny. No, I can't see what that is, I'm afraid. Might just be a 1p, but you never know. We'll put it with the copper and brass pile down here. These are my treasures. Mum's got a bag of treasures over there. And it is the most beautiful, beautiful evening. Okay, so if you just look in this hole that I'm digging down here, it is absolutely just chock-a-block with lead. So much lead, there's no way we could take all of this lead off the beach, unfortunately. I have made a lead pile, though. Gold! We got a... Oh! Has mum just found a... Oh my goodness! I just found a piece of gold! It's our second piece of gold. It's the second piece of gold. Wow. Wow. It is real gold, isn't it? It's so bright and shiny. There's no mistaking it. That's crazy. And you can feel the weight of it. Yeah. It's a tiny bit. I'm going to zoom in. Hang on. I found gold. Look, 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 look. Wow. Look at that. A little piece of gold. And it's another coin, I think. Yes. I think it's an old um, threepenny bit. Threepenny bit is three pennies. I think. It's really hard to tell. So um, we'll have to get that cleaned up when we get home. See what it is. So these are some things I've found. I don't know what they are, but I like them. A massive nugget, bronze nugget. Some sort of washer. Some little bits of bronze. And I think I found another coin. Can you see it? Just here. Yeah, and it looks like <laughs> it's a modern pound, I think. I think it is. A modern old pound. There you go. In the beautiful evening sunlight. Okay, so I've got another coin down here, but I suspect this one is quite modern. Let's have a look. Yes, <laughs> I think it's a modern 20p piece. Which means it's probably not very old. Well, it isn't very old. Hey, a coin's a coin. Oh, and we have another one, another coin. Let's hope this one is a little bit older. Oh, it might be another one that's a little bit too knackered. It's hard to say. Might not be able to get anything off it, but look at my coin pile. How cool is that? I 
found another bullet, but this one's really good condition. Look at that. And I've also got a pile of treasures here. All sorts of things. All bits of, I don't know what. Ship's nails, like bits of copper and all sorts. Nuggets. Treasures. I've just thrown up another coin. <laughs> Not thrown up. Oh wait, what's this? Another one. Oh <laughs> Gosh, look. Two coins. It's two for the price of one there. They're really well worn though. So I don't... Oh, hang on. Is that a co No, I think one of them's a button. That one's a button, look. It's got a remains of thing on the back. Is this a button also? Has it got a shank on it? No, I think this is a coin. So I think it's a coin and a button. Oh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's got a shank on it. So that's interesting. That's quite an old button, that. The 18th century, probably. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Alex has found... An escutcheon! <laughs> I love finding escutcheons for some reason. I don't know why. It's a keyhole. A keyhole. That's gorgeous. I love it. I know. See, that would make a lovely piece of jewellery. Yeah. Isn't it? An unusual necklace or something. Fantastic. Okay, so I think we've got two coins. Oh, it's just down here. So we've Let's got see. one. We've got one there. One there. And one that's just about to fall out down here. Let's have a look. Let's get Let's it have out. Let's what it is. Zoom in. It's, it's a quite coin. chunky. Yeah, I think it is a coin. Very well. I can't one. tell what it is. No. Okay, second coin. Can't tell what this is either. <laughs> oh, they're too well worn. We might just be able to get something off them at home, just enough to yeah. tell us how old they are. Fantastic though. Treasure, real life treasure. Real life treasures. <laughs> okay, it's another coin and I think it's one of our last coins because we're going to go. Yeah, we've got to go. Yeah, there there it, is. it is. Can we see what it is? Oh, I don't know. It looks very mm. thin. Very worn. That's another worn one. I've also got a big nugget there and this um, piece of lead around yeah. this lead. Yeah, we've got loads of really weird bits of lead. So, our last finds of the day. Ta da! <laughs> So here are all the wonderful treasures we found on our return to Storm Beach. Yeah, and we've got an amazing collection of metal artefacts here. 
So we've got our nuggets or nugs as we call them. And these are the ones we have actually polished up. And they're copper, alloy, brass, bronze, things like that. And they're just random lumps, random nuggets. I love this one. Look mm. how chunky that is. Oh, that is huge and so shiny. It's so juicy. We've also got them up here. And there's a few polished ones and the rest of them haven't yet been polished. But these will be perfect for melting down or making into things. Okay, we've got random bits of metal, but this is an escutcheon, that little escutcheon that I found, and now it's beautifully shiny and all polished up. Yeah, I love it. wonder what it was part of. Maybe... Um, the way the sea has smoothed it as well. Some cat, like a, a draw? Lock? lock of a no, drawer? it's a lock of a treasure chest, of course. Oh, yes, we call pirate's treasure chest. Yeah. Oh, obviously, yeah, see me. <laughs> now we've got boat nails from pirate's boats, obviously. Yeah. Must be. No other explanation. I know these are boat and ship nails and the reason we know this is because they are copper or copper alloy so they don't rust when they're in the seawater. And this size of nail was commonly used to um, nail the copper cladding onto the bottom of ships. Oh cool. Yeah same here and this is very intriguing. Hmm. It's a screw thread of some sort. Um, is it a plumb bob? Because there is a hole through the top there. Yeah, it, it looks like... It could have been like... suspended from something. Or could it be the end of a ramrod for a musket? Yeah, because they did have screwy things, things on the end of yeah. ramrods, didn't they? So, interesting. So, what is it? If you recognise knows, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another nug... But this, I don't think is a nug. I actually think this is a part of a, a fragment of shrapnel. Because you can see... Whether it's... Um, it's like the cracks in it. Yeah. Like it's been forced apart. Like it's been blown apart. It does look like that. So we really think this is actually a piece of shrapnel. And talking about blowing things apart, here we have a couple of bullets. Yeah, these are interesting actually. And I think this is the older one because it's not as pointed as that one. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but the pointed one is actually called a Spitzer bullet. And the name is derived from the German word Spitzgeslosch, meaning pointed projectile. Also referred to as a spire point, it was developed in an attempt to produce bullets that were more aerodynamic, thus making them more accurate over long range. And it was first introduced in France in 1898. And this type of bullet is known as a full metal jacket, which is a projectile with a soft, usually lead core, with a harder metal outer shell, such as gilding metal, cupra nickel, or sometimes steel. So, so that one you can see yeah, the yeah. lead core. You can easily see the core where the, the outer casings come off, but this would be lead inside as well. Because, well, you can tell by the weight of them. But um, I'm pretty sure we found these before. Yeah, and they we were have. for, um, I think they were for aircraft, like anti-aircraft um, guns, things like that. And I know they did a lot of training um, around that part of the coast yeah, back yeah. in the day, back during the wars. So is it First World War or Second World War? Or are they both? Could be both or either. Hmm. Okay, and on the theme of ammunition... We've actually got a few bits and bobs here. Well, a few bullets, a few more bullets. And these are older than these types of bullets because these are musket balls. Which would have been fired from a musket, a flintlock, a matchlock, something like that. Yeah, and they're all different sizes. These two could almost be the same size, but this one's a bit squashed, like it's been fired and it's hit something. But yeah, they're really interesting. Yeah, I think they're pirates. Oh yes, wow, there was just so many smugglers on the it's coast so, and things. It's those so smugglers again, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and of course, people would fire back at them, you know, to to scare them away and chase them off. So there was definitely lots of activity along that coast back in the day, especially and in the 18th century. On the theme of guns, I um, have a few bits here that could be, but might not be. Mm. This looks awfully like a trigger. It does, isn't it's it? A, hole there where it would have hinged so it would have sort of gone and could this be part of a trigger guard or could it be for holding a pipe it's it's quite hefty though it is so it's, quite, it's quite chunky quite thick this i think is from the top of 
uh, flintlock mechanism. This would have been a longer screw part on here and it would have been screwed down to hold the flint into the, the hammer part of the, uh, the gun. Mm, it might be. I think we found those before. This is a little leg and could it be the leg of a sort of a chart magnifier? Because they had little legs just like this oh, in that's interesting. using navigation. It's definitely been screwed onto something and there's yeah. nothing on the other end. Definitely a little leg. leg. And this is a thumb screw. Also could have been off some sort of navigational or something. <laughs> but whoever, if anyone knows differently or can provide any more information on them, we'd love to know. Okay, so we found loads and loads of lead, but here are some of the more interesting pieces, or the ones we could identify. Um, this is a dress weight, as I explained in the video, which is really cool. And we found quite a few of these, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, we have in the past. And all different sizes as well, which is a really interesting little piece of history. Helped weigh down those massive skirts yeah. um, on the windy shores. <laughs> yeah, you'd need them on the coast. Um, and then we've got some bag seals. So I can't really tell how old these bag seals are, but this is certainly a bag seal. You can see where it's, yeah, it's kind of squashed down on the yeah. edges. And um, it's got no marks on it, unfortunately. Well, not that we can see. And then this is also a bag seal, but this is a later bag seal. I think this is more 20th century, this one. And this one, possibly older. And then this, and this is interesting. It almost looks like a little token. Yeah, part of a token. Because you can faintly see something on there. It's really, really difficult to tell. Yeah. Because we actually have found um, tokens there. Yeah, we have. Before that we've actually been able to positively identify. So you never know. That might be one too. And this is just a random square of lead. I'm not sure what that was. Could have been a seal, but uh, yeah. very difficult to tell. Just a thought, but could this be a weight from one of the dresses that the <laughs> smugglers were wearing? <laughs> hey, you never know, it could be a smuggler's dress weight. <laughs> Who knew? You never know. That conjures up a really funny picture in my that, mind. That was a very funny story. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we've got this really interesting, this is not... Um, an artifact but it is a beautiful piece a beautiful mineral this is hematite and hematite was actually mined along that edge of coast there in the west and i think it's a kind of metal it's really beautiful it's kind of iron oh yeah kind yeah. of irony it's weird it's weird it's like a rock it's like a metal but it's rock it's beautiful it's it's got such a lovely bubbly surface. yeah some of them are really beautiful specimens they're, they're really bubbly and mm sculptural aren't they it is beautiful but yeah that's a lovely and didn't thing. you say that um miners would take them down the mines with them yes for good luck I, mean, I learned at that school when we went to a mining museum that miners would take a piece of hematite down the mines and apparently it was lucky so maybe this was in a miner's pocket at some point well they needed all the luck they could get really yeah Okay, and then we've got buttons, or what we think are buttons anyway. This is definitely a button because you can see where the shank was on the back of it. And that would have been an 18th century button. It would have been really beautiful and shiny back in the day. It's off those smugglers' coats. Oh yeah, smugglers' coats, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then we've got this, but we're not entirely sure it's a button. We didn't realise it at the time, but this actually has an anchor on it. And around the edge, you can see this kind of a rope design, but it's really thick and chunky. And it looks like it's almost been torn apart. So I'm wondering if, if that was a button. It's the right size to be a button. But, but usually sure. those sort of buttons were sort of hollow. Hmm. But that's solid. So um, is it an early button? You can definitely see an anchor on there, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then second last finds here. Oh, our coins. We've got loads of them. Coin hoard. These three are modern. These yeah. are 20p pieces and that's uh, the old pound coin. Yeah, these are definitely more modern. These ones are a little bit older and these are threepenny pieces or three pence. Yeah. So they're probably mid-20th century. And then we have 
these, which I think are all halfpennies. Yeah, pennies. they're all exactly the same size and shape and thickness as well. And very difficult to distinguish. But one of them, you can see there. Look, you can see Britannia on there. It's so faint. And then you can see a head on the other side, which I think might be Edward the Seventh. Yeah, I think it's so. Big. Because it's um, 190 something, I can't can't quite make out the date. So that would be Queen Victoria's son, Edward the Seventh. Yeah, so that's a, an Edwardian coin at least. And then tiny little coins. These are either farthings um, or half pennies. I think that's a half a modern half penny, and that could be a farthing. Yeah, cause that's slightly smaller yeah, than this yeah. one. So they're definitely two different kinds of coins. And then finally, we've got this big chunky one here is this a silver coin that's just worn away if we haven't cleaned it at all this is just how it came out of the ground where we yeah. rinsed it um yeah but we can't see anything on it could it be a silver coin mm, pirate's coin that's smugglers, what it is pirates. smuggler's booty <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be amazing if it was but of course we can't identify it at all yeah I mean, it could not be a coin, it could be something else, but it very much looks like one, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so we thought we'd show you all of the lead we picked up off the beach. This is very heavy. There's loads of it. Um, it's quite interesting, but a lot of it, well, all of it actually, is indistinguishable. Strange things like this. Yeah, what on Would earth? Would have been flat like a disc with a nub on the end. <laughs> And just and, random uh, chunks as well. Bits that look like they've been cast in spoons. There's also bits with bits of um, fishing line attached to them. Yeah, like that so you can there. see that's obviously been melted in a spoon to make yeah. a fishing weight. Yeah. And it's got plastic fishing wire on, so it's not that old. But uh, who's to know what any... Of... Oh, wait, there's a, a, a seal, a bag oh, seal. Oh, there's a bag seal. A cheeky bag seal found its way in there. But yeah, we, we can't... We like to take... Um, as much lead back as we can, but there's so much on that beach, it's just yeah, not possible to pick up every little piece. But we're going to try and take as much as we can to stop it from going back into the into the sea. Okay, and last but not least, you can see it sparkling down in the corner of the screen there. It's our gold. gold. We actually found gold. It's not a surprise, it's a, you know, so how much metal we found that there should be some gold mixed in amongst it but this is amazing yeah this piece here that they're quite small but this piece is quite thick and chunky yeah and it's got engraving on it so we wonder what that's all it's definitely got some kind of pattern engraved into it so it's it's too small to tell what it would have been part of exactly unfortunately and then mum found another piece this tiny little slither <laughs> It almost looks like um, a piece that's been cut off something as a result yeah. of jewellery making, rather than being part of something. Yeah, because it's got a very ragged edge, like it's been sawn or cut away from another piece. Yeah. How interesting. So yeah, there is gold to be found. There certainly is, and it's always very exciting, even if it's just a tiny bit of gold. It'll go in our little bottle gold collection. Oh yes. Okay, so here is our little bottle of gold. And this is all found gold. And a lot of these little pieces were actually found on the same beach we found our little pieces down here. Yeah, on Storm Beach. So some of them were found at bottle dumps. This earring actually mum found um, by the side of a path, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And then we've got a little piece of chain that was gifted to us by another mudlark. And the earring is white gold. Yeah, it looks silver, but it's actually white gold, which was a bit of a surprise. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to add our little pieces from today into our gold bottle. And then hopefully one day we'll have enough pieces to make something with. There so there they go. go. <laughs> hopefully this will be full really soon. Yes. Lol. <laughs> yeah, we'll go gold panning and, and by the end of the year it'll be up here. <laughs> So that was our return to uh, Storm Beach. Yeah, it was so and exciting. Yeah, it's always exciting to go there because we always find terrific, the interesting things. Mm -hmm. And so all that leaves now is to say a huge thank you once again 
to everyone for contributing to our channel in any way at all, whether it's commenting or liking, subscribing and to all those who have donated and of course all of our patrons who are important to us continuing making these videos for you and we'll see you again next sunday bye, bye. what is the meaning of this woo look at that leg <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, it's a hard life. It is a hard life. It's a hard life being a shwoo. Isn't that right, shwoo? Isn't that right? White shwoo broke the plant pot. <laughs>